It looks like a metal frame now, but in just a week, the Jackson stage will be more than 200 feet wide and seven stories high. Promoter Tom Moffat says sheets of wood and steel were shipped in from the mainland, and laborers have been working long hours to complete the set. I, I, I feel more excitement than this one. This goes Elvis or the Rolling Stones or uh, Eagles or um, Elton John or any of the shows I've done. I just feel this is one show that is, uh, it is the most exciting show I've ever, ever been associated with. Moffat wouldn't reveal anything about the special effects or what the stage will look like, but he did let us know that there will be two jumbo screens on stage so that the people sitting all the way up here in the nosebleeds can get a view of the action. We got to see him driving in. We got a good glimpse of him driving in in the van, and we went onto the side and it was locked and there was a side gate that was open and we got through. And so we were able to see him and he was waving at us and we were snapping. I got some Polaroids. Pandemonium broke loose when Michael Jackson emerged from his chartered 707 jet in Honolulu. A small but noisy crowd rushed past security up to the plane, where a subdued Michael accepted lays from his youngest admirers. It's a little hard to connect the mania of his fans to the ill-at-ease manner of the man at the center of all the attention. He didn't address the crowd or do anything more than smile and wave and sign a half dozen autographs. But that was more than enough for his fans. It was so exciting. <laughs> I was just so amazed. <laughs> my niece and my daughter and my little one had made cards to give to him, and I gave it to him. His assistant took the cards and said he'll take that. But we also gave him the Lord's Prayer, and he took that himself and signed my little boy's copy of the Ten Commandments that we're going to take home and frame. The concerts Friday and Saturday nights mark the end of a four-month world tour. And they're the biggest concerts in Hawaii history. Whether you're a fan or someone who can't understand what all the fuss is about, no one can deny Michael Jackson's ability to generate excitement wherever he goes. Plenty of hype plus a surprising amount of secrecy keep his publicity machine buzzing. Quincy Jones is coming in, yeah. Magic Johnson has bought tickets for both shows. Alice Cooper's going to be here for this show. <laughs> well, for the past several weeks, our hotel security has been coordinating with Michael Jackson's director of security in order to ensure safety and security for everyone here, including uh, Michael Jackson. It's going to be awesome. Yeah, we're totally excited. <laughs> a slow motion stampede through the stadium gates began at 5.30, and it was non-stop for several hours. By the time most people made it to this point, they had battled some heavy rains and some slow traffic. But we heard no complaints, and we talked to some people who traveled a long way to get to this concert. I'm from the Big Island. I'm from uh, Pai Pai Ko area. Uh, I came here on up on last night. Came here. I've been here for 5:30 in line, standing in line. It's worth it. More than worth. More than worth it. 